So now I'm going to show the alkali metals reacting with water. Um, so I've got a trough of water here and I'm going to start just by adding some universal indicator as you'd expect. Universal indicator in water um, goes green. That's a bit of a stir. So water, as you'd expect, is neutral. So the first alkali metal that I'm going to react, um, building up a series of reactivity in reverse order, is some lithium. So I'll just cut myself a piece of lithium. So again, it's covered in oil. Just cut that piece and I'm going to pop that piece of lithium onto water. Now first thing you'll notice is that the lithium is floating on the surface of the water. So um, lithium is less dense than water which is unusual for a metal. Um, you'll notice it's moving around and um, it stays as a, a, a sort of cubic shape as it floats and moves around. You'll notice it's fizzing, it's producing a gas. It's also producing a bit of smoke as well. And you'll see that the indicator is going purple, which is telling us that we're producing um, an alkali. And the alkali in this case is lithium hydroxide. So to test the gas, I'm going to and do the experiment again. This time I'm going to put the lithium into a boiling tube full of water. Again you'll see that that lithium is floating in that boiling tube of water and as it starts reacting it's producing a gas and that gas is filling the tube, it's pushing the water out. Water's definitely gone purple in there. And that tube is now becoming full of gas. The gas, as I mentioned, is the gas hydrogen. And to test for hydrogen, what I'll do is I'll take a lit splint and I'll pop that splint to the mouth of the tube and we get a squeaky pop, which is positive result for hydrogen. So we've definitely produced hydrogen there. So the next experiment we're going to do will be with sodium. Sodium is a little bit more reactive than lithium. So I'll just get a piece of sodium Scrape some of the oil off it, cut it, and so we've got a triangular piece of sodium there, which I'm just going to pop into the water. Again, you'll notice it floats. The other thing you'll notice is that it melts. It gets so hot that it turns into a, a sphere as it moves around the surface. Um, it's moving around a little bit faster than the lithium was. Um, it's a little bit more reactive. And will disappear more quickly than the lithium did. The final alkali metal that I'm going to show you today is potassium. Just get a piece of potassium out of the jar. Again, just remove some of the oil from it. So potassium should be more reactive than the other two. And just pop that piece into the water. And you'll notice that it 
gets so hot that it catches fire and it burns with a lilac coloured flame. Definitely the most reactive of those three alkali metals. So in terms of reactivity, if we go from the most reactive down to the least reactive, we've got potassium at the top, followed by sodium, followed by lithium, followed by calcium, followed by magnesium. And that's the order of reactivity with the metals in water.